And we're going to need the extra blankets, too, because, boy, it is cold out there. Yeah, temperatures are going to get down to near maybe the freezing mark in some spots. Also, turn your sprinklers off tonight. Just a small little reminder for you as, you, as well. Yeah, water, as we just told you, but you don't want to leave them on overnight because we don't need any ice. That just doesn't need to be out there. It's going to be a cold one. As you take a look at the satellite and radar combined, all the clouds are clearing their way on out. You know, Gilma mentioned a blanket. Well, normally cloud cover that sits in place overnight acts like a blanket and keeps some of the warm air closer towards the surface. We don't have that tonight. And if our winds die down enough, temperatures really will cool off quickly. Uh, we're seeing still the winds near about 7 to 10 miles per hour, but clear sky sitting across the Metroplex. So we talked about the freeze warning going into effect at 1 o'clock, remains in effect until 9 o'clock. That does include the north sides of the Metroplex all the way through Hunt County, Raines County, Hopkins County, same story off towards the east. And now Johnson County included in that. Down to Hill County and off to the west. So just Tarrant County, Dallas County, Rockwall, uh, Coffin, as you can see, down through Ellis into the southeast. Not included in that, but a large portion of North Texas under this freeze warning. Remember, the average date of the first freeze normally is November 22nd. 43 right now, Fort Worth with a northwest wind at 12 holding on. Uh, we're at 45 DFW to 48 in Dallas to 43 in Fort Worth. Still, those winds, though, are breezy out of the north to the northwest near about 10, maybe even 15 in some spots. But look at Denton, already 37 degrees. It is 41 in Keller to 45 in Garland. So we're seeing 38 in Graham to 39 in Cleburne. Overnight tonight, these temperatures will continue to drop their way on down. You can see on the future sky forecast, possibly below freezing up in Gainesville, possibly to 29 near Graham. To 33 and bottom, this pink line indicating uh, that freezing line. So we'll be just above that in the Metroplex. These winds are still holding on out of the north to the northwest. Neighborhood forecast I just want to pinpoint through parts of Dallas County. Just above freezing in Addison's, my forecast 35 in downtown Dallas to 36 in Grand Prairie, 32 Azel, 32 also in Keller. The freezing mark also in Burleson to below freezing for the majority of Denton County and in Collin County, just near the freezing mark below McKinney to Frisco to 32 right in Allen. So tomorrow's forecast, we start out cold and then we warm up only to 60 degrees, but plenty of sunshine will be on the way. So it's going to be a nice day for the Alliance Air Show. Gates opening up at 9 o'clock, 60 Saturday, Sunday. 75 degrees with a west wind at 5 to 15. That's a quick peek at your weekend forecast. You can see 75 on Sunday, lots of sunshine after we start out at 40. Monday, we're at 78. Cold front passes its way through. With that, we have rain back into the forecast. 61 for our Halloween forecast. We'll see 61 degrees, but then as we get closer towards Halloween night for trick or treat time, possibly dealing with rain chances at 20 to 30 percent, temps in the upper 50s. Wednesday, 70, Thursday back to 75, and then another front pushes through, drops us down to 68 again with rain chances at 20 percent. But tomorrow morning and Sunday morning, the coldest of the next seven days. Scott, thanks much.